Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Turn Part 21, I'm pretty sure we're on now, guys. So, since last time, I've um, had some issues, obviously, with my various recording softwares. I'm now using the software I actually used back in The Witcher 2 days. Actually, no, back in The Witcher 1 days. Um, it does require me to do this tedious process at the end, but I'm having this constant issue with OBS, where when I record with it, for some reason there's like this weird screen tearing here and there, and in my editing software, if I go to that point in the timeline, it causes the entire software to crash, the video won't play past that point, it's loads and loads of, like, annoying stuff. So I can just use this software, it just adds an extra hour onto the editing. I don't know what the issue is, but you know what, we, uh, it's fine, I'll just use this other software. I could just do something while it's, um, initially processing that, but uh, let's, let's not get fully into that. Today we're going to be doing the, um, Dijkstra mission amongst some other missions. I'm not sure, um, about all the missions. I think we have the Gangs of Novigrad, which kind of links in with Get Junior. Um, we have... Following the thread, that's a good one. We've got loads of stuff, right? But we're gonna do the Dijkstra thing first, anyway. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Um, know what happened to Dandelion? Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingales' tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Why so irritable? What about you? Any beef with Dandelion? Oh, well, I'll say that. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. I've got my own problems. Problems? You might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Uh, maybe I can help you. What do you need? You'll pay me on top of that, right? Uh, we'll go with that. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Who told you? You know what? We're not gonna lie to Dijkstra. He, he's, you know, he's a clever guy. We, 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 he know, we know he knows. Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Um, sure, why not? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Right then, well I guess we'll um we'll follow Dijkstra. I love that. I love how cool it is. I love the bathhouse, such a cool area. <laughs> Sorry, right. We'll follow Dijkstra down his secret bathhouse way. Oh god. Okay. Oh god, this is awkward. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, right, we did it. We got down the ladder. <laughs> Carol looks so mad. Um, just checking if there's anything to loot. I don't think so. 
Oh, there is. Right, Deekstra, we're taking all your stuff. I'm sorry. I love chatting with Deekstra. He's such a cool guy. <laughs> they, they have a, a good back and forth, don't they? Uh, oh, there's some more stuff. Oh, it's usually Bart. just water. Not oh. Again. Bart. Okay. Bart, stop that. Now. Bart, man. Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart hurt. Bart less thinky. But less thinky. But sadler. Why did you bring me here? <laughs> Where'd you get a troll? Where'd you get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy Bart take. Good Ziggy. Uh, why'd you bring me here? Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom, Jorfun go. Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Can't take care of this yourself. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> The gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Beat you to Bart. Bart, sorry. But job that good. Fine, I'll help you. Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right, ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Any witnesses? Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Um, what are we saying was the value? How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorfun. Oh, God. Um, thieves got in through the hole. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes, head falls. Uh, boom, can you elaborate? Bad mushrooms, what do you mean? Oh, go that. Boom, can you elaborate? Boom! Big, 
this like? I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Uh, bad mushrooms, what do you mean? Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once she, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Okay, so try to track down the thieves. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Okay, what kind of something? Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. <laughs> Deesha is incredibly confrontational. <laughs> I always, like, as in, um, you know, Geralt's like, are you sure there was nothing you saw? And he's like, no, I didn't see anything, Geralt. Don't ask me again. <laughs> Geralt's just trying to help Dijkstra, and also he's got hair coming out of his chin through his hair. It's very odd, but oh well. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Okay. Well, we've got to investigate the vault Damn now, I guess. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Yeah, it was pretty pretty clear if you guys don't know, Dandelion was the one that <laughs> robbed the vault <laughs> from all our investigating so far in Novigrad. I know it de-equips um, Swallow, and obviously we never want that, so... We'll examine the place first. So there's a pipe, it looks like. It just curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Okay. So, any? can we actually go through here? Locked, okay. Um, a few things we can loot. There's something Pipe's over here. Great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. Okay. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now, why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Right, we'll have a look. Uh, I thought witchers' potions were vile. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, yeah, the pops mold thing. I mean, obviously, they said before, but it's meant to taste horrible. As in, that guy threw it back up and then died because of the gas or the thing that came out the water, I guess. But it's pretty, pretty the, the toxic gas off the mushrooms. Get the pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. I guess fumes, but I guess fumes are technically kind of a gas. <laughs> right, um, 
Um, that was a horrible noise. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. All right, so we have these. Fine grading. Couldn't push much through that. Oh, drowner. Well, you could tell it was drowner. It's all awesome drowner. sort of. What? what what's, what's the other th one called? Like a um. Drowners are always so loud to fight. I tell you what, this reminds me of, and I know I'm gonna. I feel like The Witcher 3 is just a love letter to The Witcher 1 in some areas, you know? Remember the sewers of the Zima, where we fight loads of drowners in there? I feel like this is definitely. I, didn't, I wouldn't necessarily say a callback, but it, it. It seems like it's trying to sort of. What the hell? Oh, I thought it was a person up there. Okay, sorry, I don't know. Um, but it does seem like it's trying to sort of pay homage to it in that way, in some ways. Oh, oh my god. Drowners are unbelievable sometimes. I mean, they're, they're probably one of the weakest enemies in the game, monster-wise. But, you know, that I don't know, when they're in like a pack, they, they can really just get a hit on your back and then um, do a lot of damage. Because they hit so quickly. Not a lot of health, though. Okay, I'm just making sure I don't miss anything. So there's a guy here. The thug digs tried. Looks like we can burn the body. Weird. That is so odd. Uh, anyway, right, um... So that's the guy Dijkstra hired to do the investigation. He threw it back up and then died. Um... Just make sure I don't miss anything. I wonder what happens to this body. Oh my god, it actually turns it to like a... What do you call it? A, a charred corpse? Um... Right. Oh, there's another body. There's also a drowner, so I gotta be careful of that. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Need to burn the corpses. Otherwise, drowners will never stop congregating. Oh, is that why he burns? Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why he was just randomly burning them. Maybe now the drowners will go feed elsewhere. Maybe, Geralt, maybe. There's something on the floor. Hmm. Definitely. Thank God I put Quen on. Oh. Oh, that was not on purpose. Come on. I was trying to get my sword out, and then it auto got out, and then I ended up putting it back in. Okay. Is that that? Dude, I want to loot that thing. Oh, we'll have to do it after. Okay, that didn't work. Our armor and stuff starting to get not as good as um, as it once was. I'm starting to notice, like the enemies have definitely got a little bit, a little bit more harder. Like not massively harder, but just a little bit, a little bit more harder. Is that is that correct English? I don't know. A little bit harder, I guess. You just didn't need to say more. Harder implies more. <laughs> um, oh god. Okay. Didn't even notice. Right. Oh. Just don't want to make sh make sure. Sorry. I want to make sure I don't miss anything, guys. So many barrels. Oh, it's annoying when you can't get that. Oh, you can. But it's just a vial. I don't even know what vials are used for in this game. They, they seem to barely be used. I guess when you make a new potion or something. Even then, I think it's just maybe like a glass bottle or something. I don't know. Oh, sorry. It is kind of odd that the torches are all on. Like, I would have thought... You know, if I was Geralt, I would have thought... Surely someone's been down here to light all these torches. Oh, we got some silver. See, it was worth it, guys. I only got some dimeritium. I didn't even call that out when I got it. I just saw it and thought, ah, oh, dimeritium. <laughs> um, so we're, we're just basically trying to follow the trail of coins to get out to get out to uh, find where they took the treasure. Bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. <laughs> Smells like... Wyvern oil and caramel. Hmm. Be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Oh, we'll have a little more of a look, Geralt. Still. Um. Anything else here? Gold coin. Trail ends here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah. Where's the gold coin? He just said a go He just said gold coin. I can't even see it. Did I miss the gold coin? You know what? It's just a gold coin. I don't mind. <laughs> um, well, that was that was interesting. I'm pretty sure we got everything, right? I kind of want to have a quick look just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Um, we just 
brought, found like loads of treasure and stuff, right? I don't think it's worth going back that way. We'll go through Novigrad. I like going through Novigrad. It's cool. So, from what I gather, and it's pretty apparent, it's not like, um, it's an incredible thing that I managed to deduce this, but, um, um, is Dandelion, uh, you know, we've been, re we've been, um, researching what Dandelion's been doing, he's been seeing all these different women and other characters about, um, what appears to be some sort of robbery. Obviously, Priscilla confirmed to us that she he was planning to rob some th somewhere. Um, he's come here to Deeks' Vault, they've hatched this plan. And then they've stolen all the stuff and then got on a boat and left. And that's all we know so far, um, at least from what, what's been presented to us, I think. Just, just the basics. Yeah? Yeah? What? You just shouted, hey, you, yes, you. Taking this dried fish. You know, we gotta, we gotta have something for that. That was so odd. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you. What? Stop pestering me. Oh. Okay. I love Dijkstra's bathhouse. Awesome. Usually that means there's a band around. Oh, they're playing over there. Oh, this is so cool. Look, if I walk into them, it'll let them get them to shut up. Hello. Oh, come on. Don't show me up, band! Don't show- <laughs> Okay. Okay, the one outside of, um, Dandelion's place do shut up if you walk into them. I guess just not that one. Whoops. Right, let's go talk to Deekstra and tell him what we found out. Deekstra? Got a minute? I do. What do you want? I'm done investigating. Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Um, found one of the thieves' corpses. Found a second corpse. One of the thieves. Threw up the antidote, just like your man Fonz. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Thieves loaded the treasure onto a boat. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Uh, found pieces of the bomb. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I, that's what I observed. Could be wrong. No, we, we, we knew. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb was inside the pipe. I like how Dijkstra on the first two, he kind of just he dismisses Geralt completely and says, wrong, wrong, unimportant. And Geralt's like, I was just doing my Witcher thing, dude. I was just trying to investigate and I was trying to sort of present it, you know, just tell you everything. I did. I know it's just how they are, though, guys. I'm just, it's just it's funny. <laughs> I, lo I love it. I love Dijkstra. He's so cool. Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Let's see which drain they dropped the bomb down. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests, 
should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm, about as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right, you inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Will do, Dijkstra, my friend. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's in the M pool, but we'll just have a look at them all. Um, Nothing here. Well, that was useful. All right, next pool. They're talking. Oh, they're not anymore. Okay, right. Examine the pool. Hook. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Okay. And is there something around here? There we go. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. By the way, Happen's not a suspect. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once, too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Fair enough. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Henkel? Who's that? Impossible? Why? No, we'll ask who Henkel is. Margrave Henkel? Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old coach has been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral, but I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Hey, be nice. Where do I start? Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna question how Dijkstra treats his employees. <laughs> we'll just leave it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home, derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Jeez, Dijkstra. God. Okay. What we'll do. Why does Geralt's hair just randomly sort of jitter around? I know it's to do with hair works. It's very odd. Um, right, anyway, so we've got to go to Margrave Henkel's house. We may as well just straight up do it. You know, it's part of the same quest. It's not too high level. I think this is like, what, like a level 12 quest or something? Yeah, level 12. Right, let's go to Margrave Henkel's house. And oh, we still have Pop's thing on? Oh my god, that lasts a long time. I didn't even realise. Oh, I love going through Novigrad. Let's set it today so we can enjoy Novigrad in the day. It is kind of the day, but you, it's 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 pretty much evening. It's pretty close. Let's see, uh, 6 a.m. Oh, it's so horrible and dark. Oh, well, you got to experience the dark sometimes, too. God. Randomly cut out halfway through. Oh, so there's a merchant over there. Oh, I think that's just the, uh, the book guy, right? And then, um... What's his face down here? Vivaldi. Right, we'll just carry on. I, I'm gonna. You guys know what I'm about to say, don't you? I'm sure you've already predicted. Isn't Novigrad just awesome? Like, oh my god, look at the boarded-up windows and stuff. This is his house, but right. What a dump. 
Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. True. Okay. Let's examine. Oh, right there. Footprints. The more you know. Okay. Crystallized essence, a little candle. Why not? Bit of fun. Um, just want to make sure we get everything and actually make sure we don't miss anything. That looks like one of the well, the rest of the bomb thing we found. Or like, you know, a complete version of it. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Hmm. So there's some bookshelves. They'll just have books. Um, a casket? God. I guess we'll just keep following the steps. Right. This... A letter. Uh, and a bottle. I didn't mean to loot the letter yet. I wanted to check what was in here. Meteor Inga. Oh. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. Hmm, is that what the note said, I'm guessing? Um, just quickly check, just in case. Because sometimes, like, uh, there is an example, I think, that we'll get quite soon. Where the note just is basically not at all what we found. Is this the mysterious note? Yeah. Oh, no, okay. It's literally what we said, but it's with love from D, which I'm assuming is dandelions. Well, from dandelion. Okay, so there's a wall here we got to get through. Some candelabrium. I don't think we can get any dialogue out of that. Right, let's go and um, see what's around here. Alright, wine bottle thing. I uh, don't think there's anything else to loot in here. 12.45 to 12.54. Hmm, <laughs> satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Okay, investigate the other room using your witch senses. Secret room. Ooh. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Just maybe. So there's a, a note. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Oh, Kalkstein or Kalkstein. I'm pretty sure Geralt used to call him Kalkstein, Witcher 1. I miss him. He was such a cool character. I love how they've sort of incorporated him in this game, just even slightly. I mean... We know that he's dead now, which is sad, but, you know, whatever. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Okay. We have another spillage. God, I'll just loot that so I can examine. Stain. Wyvern oil. There's a note. I'll look at the note in a second. I'll just get this. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Uh, God, look at that window. I thought the windows were boarded up. Oh, I guess this is a secret room. Okay, whatever. Letter from Dudu. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Oh. Right, quickly, before we go down there, I'm pretty sure this is the note I was just talking about, the one that reads completely differently if you actually read it. Like, look how much longer it is! <laughs> okay. Siri, if you're reading these words, that means you have solved my riddle, for which you have my congratulations. It also means you have not yet been caught and are still in Novigrad, which worries me greatly. I do not know exactly what you did in Temple Isle, but Menga is furious and will not rest until he captures you until he captures you, skins you alive, and burns you at the stake. Now that he's got his sanctimonious paws on Dijkstra's treasure, he can hire enough men to search every home in the city thrice over. I am a Doppler, so I'll be able to hide. But you, you must flee, while you still can. Your doo-doo. P.S. Don't even think about trying to break Dandelion free from Menga's clutches. It's impossible. But knowing our friend, he'll wriggle his way out somehow. Or at least I hope he will. P.P. PP PPS, <laughs> forgive me for not writing how to contact me, but A, you are to flee, remember? B, Militale guard, guards those who guard themselves. 
See, completely different letter to the one Geralt just picked up. I'm guessing maybe it was on the other side of the letter. I don't know. Oh, doo doo. Cat River's treasure. Okay. So there are people that have just walked downstairs. Let's let's see what's going on with that whole situation. Oh, I love the hair works. So cool. Okay. And Triss. Oh. Let's go have a chat. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Um, all signs point to Menga. Wait, why'd you come here? We'll do that first. Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was alright. You don't trust me? Thanks, really. We'll say that. <laughs> Thanks. You can breathe easy now. In the future, though, remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? All signs point to Menga. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menga. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Uh, Margrave Henkel told me everything, it doesn't matter. Well, that's... Deek you can't really lie to Dijkstra. If you lie to Dijkstra, he just always sees through it. So, you know what? What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time. But only because his honor, the Margrave, might indeed have something to do with the theft. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. I doubt Menga will say anything willingly uh, while you sit here twiddling your thumbs. Now, I'm not sure if this is a design decision or not, but I want you guys to pay attention to Dijkstra's arms. I'm pretty sure they're unbuttoned because he literally just can't fit them around his arms. Or I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's like, you know, a fashion choice Dijkstra's decided to do, or if CD Projekt Red have purposely put that in to show that he's, you know, a big guy and stuff. But I, I just, it's such a cool little detail, if it is, you know, if it's meant to be like that. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Right. Well, yeah, I'm pretty... Uh, e even if it's not because he's big or whatever, it's just a cool little detail anyway. Right. I doubt Menga will say anything willingly. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. Triss and I, that's all in the past. You're using us. Um, I feel like we've got to say that because obviously we're going for uh, Yennefer this playthrough. I've said before because she's like the one. And, you know, in the previous Witcher games, I've tried to sort of avoid the whole Triss thing as best I can. So it doesn't seem sort of... I feel bad saying this, but you know what? I'm pretty sure we get a dialogue option later on to kind of um, 
repair that. So I'm, I'm going to say this, even though it's not terrible to say, I feel like. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit at Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Uh, what would you have said in my place? Didn't mean to hurt you. You know what? The second one is true. <laughs> it was not meant to be hurting. It was just to let everyone know where we stand, you know? Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm hmm Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. Okay, so we have to meet Triss at the Eternal Fire Shrine near the harbour around midnight. That is a big old thing. Oh, weird. Okay, right. So, I guess we can go and do that. Okay, sorry, I just listened to that woman. Okay, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to start Get Junior because we may as well. I feel like this is at night time. We don't want to just skip till night time and do that. We'll do that, but I think... We got to start with um, Gangs of Novigrad. We don't have to do the Gangs of Novigrad at all, but it's like right here. And, but it, because, you know, you can either do one or the other and they're kind of linked together. But you can kind of do half and half, I think. So we might do half and half, experience the best of both. Okay. A wee minute, Witcher. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night Horson tried to kill me? Twas chance, honest. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shite conversation, this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where Horson is. I've not betrayed you, not ever! Oh. No! No! I know nothing! Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave my men, take the water junior, and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win-win situation, as I see it. Fine, I'll help your men. No deal. Horson can't die. We'll say that first. Horson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot-headed and I like him like that. Want to rein them in? Do so on your own. Fine, I'll help your men. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that, or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. Will do. You know, we don't have to go with Cleaver's men, but I, I kind of want to. <laughs> At least for the first one. Why not? I like the little dwarf fellas, they're awesome. Okay. So, with the gangs of Novigrad, I'm pretty sure, right, you know, and I know I said I was going to do half and half, but I'm pretty sure that if we go with Cleaver for literally any of it, it just leads to, um, <laughs> it just leads to us going there and killing them all, and I don't really want to do that. I'm not sure if this will mean that we, um, that we'll, uh, fail the quest, gangs of Novigrad. I don't think we will. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I thought I had, um, Igni on. Just gonna break his stamina. It's 
always those through here. There's no point looting them. They have, like, nothing. So we can actually just bypass uh, Cleaver's men, I think. And then hopefully this will work. We'll see, though. Right. Go to the arena. Go to the hideout. Go to the casino. Um... May as well go to the Gangs of Novigrad just to get to where the casino is. I don't want to go with Cleaver's men, though. Just because they end up killing everybody otherwise. So we're going to we're gonna walk past them. I'll make a save, though, just in case. Uh, where is the casino again? Oh, I think it's literally just in where they're stood outside of. Is it? Where is the casino? Here? Hang on, right there. Let me, let me, I'm, I have no idea where it is, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, let's just try and be cool about this, guys. Hey, bouncers. Okay. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit out of luck. Make a deal? We'll make a deal. Think we can make a deal? Hear that? Another one. No, we don't make deals. How much? Oi, remember what I told you? Were it to be polite like. Just my patience. Running a bit thin. We don't want your coin. We don't want anything else. On your way, before we get plowing angry. Stop being all nice. Oh, guys. Can't go in there. Can we kill them? Right, let me check. Do I have any perk points? Because I'll have to get delusion if if I have the perk points. I don't think I do though. We have no perk points. God damn it. Where's delusion in this? Um. So, uh, god damn it. Is there a way we can just quickly get two perk points? I think if I kill them, th I'm just gonna go in. Okay, I can't go in. I think if I kill them, I, I can't... I think you can play Gwent in here, right? That's the reason I'm not going with Cleaver's Men. I'll admit it. I think you can play Gwent in here, and I want to play Gwent. But for that, I need perk points. Right. I don't want to kill them all. I'm pretty sure this is a place of power. And I'm fairly certain there is a place of power over in this direction. Maybe like... It might be, it might be like... Uh, here somewhere, maybe? I don't know. I could be getting this wrong, to be completely honest, guys. No, no, no. What am I on about? Not there. Um, here. Ish. Right, guys, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go and get these places of power to get the perk points, and then we're going to try and go into the casino, because I want to play Gwent, okay? And I'll skip to where I get all the, um, the places of power. I'll show you me getting them. Oh, they just killed someone. Um. Hey, were you there? You're cool. Okay, right. Uh, anyway, I, I just found a certificate that said I, c I can now fight somewhere or something. Oh, it's there. Okay, we'll go there later. I hope I don't fail the um, Gangs of Novigrad quest by not going and killing everybody. That that would be preferable to not happen, to be honest. We'll see. Maybe I don't think I do fail. I think it just sort of basically says I failed the objectives. Um, but not the actual quest. I think Cleaver just sort of says you didn't even help. What the hell, man? We'll see. Hopefully not. My neighbor. His name is right ah. there. He works at the Volvo's back as well. <laughs> this is what he wished to tell a servant of the eternal fire. He has guests. Suspicious individuals. They meet weekly. Strange noises come from inside. Flashes. You've done well to tell me, my son. Oh, the temple oh. guard must investigate. Novigrad must be cleansed of all magic practices. Huh. You are brutal. Sod off. That's cool. Sorry, I, I I pretty would have pulled you out there before I got to the actual place because I just overheard that conversation, which sounded pretty cool, and I thought, oh. God, this is taking so long to get to this place. I I should have just used the signboards. I don't know why I ran the whole way. Can I get through here? Hey, look, we're at the um, Lector Square. If your light of truth were to blind him as he ascended the stairs. Oh, cool. This is a cool... I like this place. I kind of want... I kind of want to test something out, guys. Ah. Is it true, Mango? I 
Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't blow out the eternal fire. <laughs> I just wanted to try that out. I try it out every time. And also, they seem to be cool with the magic. Oh well. Let's carry on. Ah, here it is! The stone. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Gotta be. Awesome. Right, that's one ability point got. I think we have to get to at least level two in ability points. We'll have a quick look in the Temple of the Eternal Fire. Why not? I'm surprised there's not many, like, quests that really take place here. Like, there's that, obviously, the big one with Siri, but other than that, there's nothing. Like, this entire thing is just made just, just because it's part of the world and it's cool. You know what? And I think mod devs should do that. That is amazing. Right, okay. I don't think there's a quick way down from here, but I, I'm pretty sure there is another place of power... It might actually be the only other place of power. Um, I think it's like around about here. I could be wrong. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look. Right, I'll 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 skip to when I get close to it, guys. Listen to me forever to get out of here now. You know what, guys? I actually might get the um, signboard here because we do need to get that anyway. We're gonna avoid the seven. Oh, there's a there's a quest down here. Didn't even realize. We're gonna have a look at that later. But yeah, we, we got to get that signboard. We can't get the seven cats in one because that starts Hearts of Stone pretty much. Um, and I want to, obviously, when I do Hearts... Oh! Speaking of Hearts of Stone... Sorry, right. And I want to obviously start Hearts of Stone um, with that. Because that's like a big part of it. What is... Oh my god, did someone just get eaten? It's a Noon Wraith just randomly here. Noon Wraith. Wait, where's my Mundus bombs? Can we switch them? Oh. Hang on. What bombs we got equipped? Dimeritium and Dragon's Dream. Dragon's Dream is one of the worst bombs in the game, so I'm not going to be using that. As in, it, it basically does nothing pretty much all the time. That's right. Well, that's fair, isn't it? I just, I hit you with a Mundus bomb. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to roll away from them. I think they eventually despawn. Is this Noon Wraith part of something, or is this just like a random... Wait there. I don't know if Moondus bombs do anything against Noon Wraiths, to be honest. They don't, it doesn't seem to be. Maybe Dimeritium be better? I do anything? Dimeritium seem to work. Okay, we got the Noon Wraith. Yet again, guys, just gonna say that felt very reminiscent of The Witcher 1, the Noon Wraith in the fields. You know, you know what I mean, guys? Okay, right. We're going to the signboard. That was such a random encounter. That was like a level 15 Noon Wraith. I mean, we've only just hit level 15. All our armor and stuff is level 8 or whatever Griffin armor level is. Um, right, okay. I can't wait till we get to level 17. I'm looking forward to trying out the cat armor. You know what, guys? It's nice just to go about the, um, the wilderness here and there. Just a little bit of a break from the main Novigrad whole city all the time. Right, get all that. I don't know if that gives us anything... I want to read everything we got, um, just in case, because sometimes that actually opens up a quest. Not every time. Sometimes. Uh, how do I check? Is it just under books? Where are books? Books are under other, aren't they? Where are some of the notes we just picked up? Okay, there's a lot of notes here. Whatever. I don't, I don't think so. There was something about fencing lessons and stuff? I don't know. I'm not sure if any of those notes would give anything. Ah, there we go. This is where the place of power is. I, I got that pretty accurate, you know? <laughs> I, I just remember coming here a few times. So, there probably is other places of power around, but I, I think... Sorry, I think there probably are other places of power around. But I think I've done most of them in the actual main Velen area, because Velen and Novigrad are kind of intertwined-ish. I guess, but north of the Pontar, which is what I class Novigrad as, I just lagged, and that was a terrible point to lag. Um, mm, ooh, magic, a place of power. Okay. And remember why we're doing all of this, guys. It's for the incredibly convoluted. Um, just try. Oh yeah, I remember. We'll do it now, actually. Uh, it's for this. Literally, we did all of that for this. 
Delusion. Did it for a delusion. Okay. And we'll put that in instead of... Oof, God. I guess the sun and the stars. I kind of like the sun and the stars, though. In fact, actually, hang on, give me a second. I was going to see if we had a spare blue spot, but we don't. Okay. Look at that glitchy, lovely Novigrad building. <laughs> what is happening there? Okay. Let's just let's just ignore that. Let's look down. Oh, God. It's already game-breaking. Yes, it is. Right. I'm joking. Oh, look at these geese. Look at them with his little arms up running away. Little fella. Okay. Um, so... Oh yeah, we have the Gwent old pals. We also have another Gwent thing, don't we? Win a card from the Scoia'tael dude. We'll do that after. We'll go back to the casino like we originally were going to do before we realised we couldn't actually get into the, to the casino without um, various... Oh, should we go and do this? That quest was over here before, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we'll do it at some point. It seems to not be disappearing, so we'll just go with it. Okay, time to head back to the casino. We're only 100 metres away. We're pretty close. Oh, I like this music. It really reminds me of the Scoia'tael for some reason. They must be and now it's gone to Novigrad. I don't know what this music's called. Is it called the Streets of Novigrad or something? Or the... I don't know what it's called. Okay, so these are Cleavers, guys. And I believe the casino is around here. You know, this is what I'm thinking, guys. I think we're going to probably fail the um, Gangs of Novigrad mission. But to be honest, the Gangs of Novigrad mission, all it entails for us to do is to go around and do basically the Get Junior mission, but kill everybody instead of having all the awesome dialogues and little missions here and there. And honestly, the going around killing everyone is not nearly as good. So if we do fail that mission, we technically... Oh, sorry, I just knocked my mic. We technically haven't failed the mission because... The mission is basically... Sorry, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Because the mission is basically the mission I'm doing, just just fighting instead. Um, I think it's here, right? There we go. Right, we have delusion now. I have returned. I don't want my money, but we have delusions. It's fine. Can't go in there. Here we go. I think you're about to let me in. By all means, please. And you wish me luck. Luck be with you at the tables. There we go. In we go. I'll read it all back. You've no coin left. I'll read to my house. All right. Oh my god. Oh, so scared it crashed and I have to do all of that again. Okay. Bird. Who's that? Should we have a chat? May I? Why not? Looking for a high stakes game. Any going on here? Yeah, we'll do that first. Hankering to play, but I'm only interested in high stakes. I don't know you. Perhaps you have coin, perhaps not. Perhaps you can behave, perhaps you cannot. Stay out of trouble, you'll eventually play for high stakes. For now, plenty of tables for commoners upstairs. Don't lose it all too quickly. Okay. Do you want to play? Sir, I beg your pardon. Okay. Well, we don't want to cause any trouble before we get to play Gwent. That is definitely something. Okay, I think that's stealing. Sorry, I'm sorry. God, I'm so terrified to do anything wrong in this place. If this tech addict with a knife in his mouth, that's pretty pretty average, pretty average. Um, okay, so yeah, we can play up here first, it looks like. I don't want to lose any of these Gwent games, guys. Even if that means... I don't want to go back on saves. I don't think I'll lose. I kind of want to try out different decks, though. Mutant, what the hell's a witcher doing here? See any drowned dead or other ships heads around here? Um, yeah, we playing or not? I just want to play nope, Gwent first. No monsters, great opportunity to play some cards. Clever man, eh? All right, we'll play, provided you've coin. I do. This day, they've got the best powder in the city right here. Just want to play. Let's play. Oh my god, they're proper high-stakes games, guys. Okay, we can't risk it with our other decks. I believe I will plow your ass like a cheap horse. I look... F I don't want to... I don't want to say that on... Okay, right... <laughs> oh god. Okay, Estorad. Uh, he's our new card, right? We got him from, um... Uh... Dijkstra, I think? Get, get rid of Siegfried. I'm sorry, Siegfried. You're a good guy, but... We've got to win this game. We're going to get so much money. Okay, so we got those two, those two. That's decent. Got Dijkstra, that's pretty good. Yennefer, that's pretty good. We don't want to, um... Okay. 
that kind of worked out. Yeah, we got Roach. So I think step one is Dijkstra. Just in case we get another spy or something. Okay, not terrible. Opening with his ability. We'll do this. So we got to see three random cards. I see we just go with a 10, you know. I don't really have anything else I want to... Okay. We go with our other 10. Why not? I kind of want this guy to play some of his spies. We'll go with that. And then we'll obviously double it. With this. And then we could even double it again. He's got so many 10s. He out tend me. There you go, and then we'll skip. Oh, I absolutely hate... Okay. It's fine, it's fine. I think we've got we to gotta skip, to be honest. But I don't want him to just spy me, and then... I think we should skip. Ah, here we go. That's what I was expecting. And then he decoys my spy. Thing is, I can... Revive his spy and then decoy the Dijkstra he'll play against me. So I think we'll play his spy first. Then we'll decoy Dijkstra because we don't have any other way to revive. And then we, we can't really play Dijkstra yet because, um, <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Okay, okay, we got a decent hand, decent hand. He could have another Scorch, which definitely sort of, I wouldn't say scares me, but it's, it's, it's definitely on the cards. Okay, we'll go with Philippa. Now, I kind of want to bait him with the, um, with these two, because if he has a Scorch, I'd rather him kill them than my, um, my eights. Okay, we'll go with that. Hopefully, if he has a Scorch, he'll decide to use it, because I really don't want to risk... Um... I tell you what, we're going to really try and bait him here, because obviously we can use our ability for the back row anyway. Okay. Okay, we've, we've won, we've won. I just want to play all my cards. I want to see how high I can get it. I feel like this is a very high level... Uh, not high level, like high... Scoring round here, right? Boom. Okay, we won. I'll not play you anymore. Bad luck. Go ruin someone else. Look on the bright side. Unlucky at cards, lucky in love. Don't taunt him, Geralt. <laughs> okay. Well, we won that. Let's make another. Oh, I can't say my game. Why? Will it not let me say between them? Um... No, it will. Okay, next dude. Who's this guy? May I join you? I've never seen you here before. Want to talk to the owner? So what? Haven't seen you here either. Um. I feel like we have to say the right thing here. Is that important? All who come here do so either by invitation or recommendation. Who recommended this establishment to you? They let me in, isn't that enough? Men at the door let me in. Not good enough? No. Preferable if someone vouched for you. Soon. Until then, I'll have my eye on you. Just wanna play. We done talking. I'd like to play. Alright. Take a seat. This does not bode well, gonna be honest, that guy's reaction to me. We'll just we'll just ignore it for now. Probably, probably didn't say the right things. Oh, we got Scorch, okay. Not a terrible hand. Right, by the way, I know I can click B to cancel, just generally I, I think it's better not to cancel. I'll just get rid of him. Okay. So step one. Estrad. If I beat him, he's gonna call me out, isn't he? Why can't we bet with him now I think about it?
Uh, maybe it's because we didn't have a nice chat with him. I don't know. I could scorch them. Probably not the best use of a scorch, to be honest. Okay, he's going to get ready for a big double, so I'm going to get these two ready. Boom. Right then. Okay, so we go Roach. We haven't got a very good hand here, to be honest. Okay, I say we, um, we Commander's Horn that. If he scorches us, obviously we're screwed and we just have to skip, but, um... Okay. Bloody hell. Oh my lord. So, okay, we, we have to skip, we have to skip. Fair enough, he skipped. So what have we got? Can we revive something useful? Not really. Just put down our six. And skip. This is not the best hand, gonna be honest, guys. Right, I say we, we're gonna have to scorch now. Oh, that's not good. Should have waited. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I think we probably still have this, depending on what his last card is. We're being very careful here. Okay. Probably still still got this. Yeah, I think we got this. Right, so we do this into this into that. Boom. I win. Don't you think I know that? Want a rematch? What whip? You've left me high and dry, I'll not bet half a crown more. Getting good hands. Luck of the draw today. You might make better use of that luck then. We've a room for specially selected upstairs. Really big stakes there. Not interested. Maybe another time. You ought to try. For you get the honor to play with the owner and his closest associates. Refuse, and someone could feel shunned, insulted even. No. I'm not greedy. I've won enough, thanks. You misunderstand. This is not a request. Take him upstairs. Out. All of yous. Blood's about a flow. Disarm him, bind him tight. Ah! But I want to play Gwent with the last guy. We're there. Hang on. Hmm. I wanted to play Gwent with the last guy so bad. <laughs> Why did you do that game? Well, there's more people. Hang on. Okay, let's get these guys downstairs. Um, we'll deal with them quickly, then we'll go up to the this, this top room. Oh. There you go. This reminds me so much of um, fighting the Salamander and Vizima on the stairs. Do you guys know what I mean? If you watch my Witcher 1 thing, you'll know what I mean. It looks so similar. Get back! Okay, hang on. Okay, all of Holson's men are dealt with. I mean, I still feel like I prefer this to the Cleaver route, because on the Cleaver route, um, everyone just dies. And, um, you know, we don't want that. I tell you what I wonder if I could do. Just give, give me give me give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna try something. I wonder if I can I can't leave. I was wondering if I could leave, go and get Cleaver's men now, and then still technically have done that. Doesn't look like it though. I guess I have to um finish this quest. Okay, it's fine, I don't mind. 
Okay, that is unbelievable. I, di I didn't. I, I forgot completely. Okay, right. Igni is so good. It basically locks one of them or two of them out of combat for a bit. Should, should I actually try and fight them? We'll give it a go. Right, come on then. Done. Um, fried meat. List of debtors. Uh, Albert Zimmer, Gwyn Hughes, Hughes, Lettuce. Okay, we don't need to read all those. There was Rico on there. You have to death. Hey, Rico. Hey, can you hear me? We will talk to him soon. First, there is the looting. Some Florins. Um. Okay, that's everything. Let's talk to Rico. You alive? Don't finish me. Don't intend to. Who the hell are you? I heard screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? Let's chat first. Who are you? What's your name? Rico. Rico Meyersdorf. Why are you here? Uh, what's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Run, stay a while. We'll just let him go. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. Wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. We will have to check. So, oh, we get to go to the King of Beggars now and get a reward. That's pretty cool. We'll leave. See, I think on Gangs of Novigrad, we'll now have technically failed that bit. See? The only thing we've done is talk to Cleaver, and I don't know if by going into the casino, sorry, not the casino, the uh, other place that he has, the the arena, I guess, whatever it's called. I don't know if that completely fails it or not, but we'll we'll see, we'll see. We'll head to the arena now, anyway. Um, we're not going to meet the dwarves though. I don't. I much prefer the quest without just going killing everyone. You don't get like nearly any dialogue, and all it is is just killing people. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't really solve anything. I'll make it, it kind of takes away from the game. I'd say like you know if if I just I just, I feel like my girl at least the girl that I'm playing as just wouldn't do that. So I don't know where the arena is. Uh, I'm gonna try and work it out. I think it's pretty yeah it's just down here. So I think we can use that note we got earlier to pretend we're Zadra or whatever it said. Greetings. Don't know you. Not letting you in. And don't you fucking stand there. So we can either axe them, but I feel like I may as well use the note I got earlier. <laughs> Recognize this piece of paper? Uh, fight contract. Good, you can read. So who's this contract made out to? It says, uh, Zdenik. Made out to Zdenik. Mm-hmm. I'm Zdenik. Any more questions? <sighs> In you go. Don't you go wandering. Straight to Eagle now. Fair enough. Will do. Um. God, it's so confusing because it keeps on swapping around depending on what objective it wants me to do. Get ready. Your turn now. I'm ready. This is really cool. I like going in it when you don't just kill everybody. <laughs> I know I keep on talking about it, but I, I just prefer it. You get to see all of it going on, you know. You need to hold on for a moment. Nice to hear them chat. Right. Igor or Igor or whatever. I am Zednek. Or Zdenek. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? How about Holson Jr.? Someone's got to keep the folk in check. 
I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be known that Horson has association with some places, so we'll um, avoid using his Browns name. Spin out of control. Somebody's got to keep the peace. Mm. Claim any kind of experience. Monsters, I kill them. Do my share of fighting. We'll say that. I'm a witcher. I kill monsters for coin. Been doing it all my life. Humans won't be a problem. A guard must fight sometimes, but that's not most important. The essential question is, can you control yourself? And can you control a crowd? Been taught how to slow down or speed up my heart rate, how to dilate my pupils and alter my metabolism. My medallion vibrates when danger's near, and I know a few simple spells. Hmm, I'll have to test you. I want to see how you're managing a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. All right. Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Now I'll do it. Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's do this. Ready your purses! Betting is open! From the far east, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water, a witcher, a murderous mutant... Given me no choice. His opponent, Gustav Rohn, a man who cut his way out of his mother's hmm. womb with a knife. As ever, a fight to the death. This guy's, like, uh, I wouldn't say tough, but he's, um, very good at defending, and I, I don't want to mess around for ages. Hang on, wait there. Tell you what, we'll, we'll axe him, we'll axe him. Maybe we won't, I don't want to get an instant kill on him. Hang on, wait there. Got kids. Free. I will not kill him. No, I will not kill him. The hounds. Right, well, you're gonna have to help me out with these, um, hounds. <laughs> wow, he instant killed it. Okay. Damn right we do. Next fight! Born brawlers in battle! A fracas! A rumpus! A fray! The Witcher versus the Hairy Brothers! Oops! The Wild Isles of Skellige! Sired by a mountain bear! They live to kill! Yield, or end like your brother. Never! Oh, okay. Right. Well, we dealt with those. Next fight. The Witcher doing what he does best. Face to face with beasts. Okay. What is it? Oh, it's a wyvern. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. I've already killed two of these red skulls. It's, I'm sure we got this. Oh. Oh. Right, we got to try and avoid this thing a bit. I could just... I feel like igneing stuff all the time is definitely not the best... Well, the uh, the most fun way of fighting. Like, look. <laughs> like, like, it just makes you win. <laughs> right, wait there. Hang on. I'll restore some stamina. Wyvern dealt with. Anything else? Is it the bear now? Boris? Okay, oh, we got in Dragas. Right, you ready? Oh. 
Okay, we dealt with the Indragas. Just take some of their um their bits. Ah, uh, now it's Boris. Shall I release Boris? Boris, Boris you doing alright, Gustav? Come on then, Boris. Oh my god, okay, right. We're there. Oh, this feels ridiculous. I feel like I shouldn't just igni everything like that, because it, it just is it's not it's not it's not cool, you know. Okay. Okay, Boris is dealt with. I'm gonna igni what's coming up next though. Yay. And Gustav, don't forget Gustav. Bravo! Plowing scragged and furrow. They tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Who are you? Thanks. Cyprian Wiley, known the most as Horson Jr. Appreciates good handiwork. Well, we've not had enough. Now, Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those midgets. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? Oh. You heard the man. Kill him. They can try, but I've got Gustav, so you know I think we got this. Oh, there they are. Hey guys. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, that's right. Oh, for God's sake! Right, well he's done. Um. God, I actually hit him during that? That's kind of awesome. Oh my god. God, that dog is actually good. Yikes. Okay. Well, there we go. Right, let's check. I got his key, we got a key. Got some raw meat, some more raw meat, some stuff, and some more stuff. Uh, we'll have a little search around, see if there's anything around. I don't think there'll be much, to be honest. It seems pretty closed off down here. There's, um, some dried fish, I guess. Um, right, I can't see anything, so you know what, we'll, we'll leave that for now. Um, right, let's have a look around. So, floor is worn by a moving door. Something behind this wall. Okay. Okay, so we found a hidden room. Just get all the stuff. I'm not sure what is useful in here. It looks like there's some good stuff. There's a sword there. Mysterious letter and some crowns. To Holson Jr., King Ranavid is unhappy with your performance. You were to rid the city of the other members of the so-called Big Four. Yet not only did they still no, yet not only did they still live, but they also now know of your role in their attempted assassination. This was not our arrangement. For the time being, hide in the place which the messenger delivering this missive will indicate to you and stay out of sight. Uh, His Majesty lives in the hope that mutual animosity between the other members of the Big Four will finish the job which you attempted, yet s yet flubbed so badly. M. Hmm. Well, looks like, um... Radovid's involved. I mean, in the uh, previous, well, in The Witcher 1, Radovid was involved with the Salamandra, which was like a kind of drug criminal organization. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely so similar to The Witcher 1 in the way that... It goes about bits of the story, but it's it's like dumb. I'd say probably better, just just a bit more sort of um, neat and um, I, I, I I don't know. It's all awesome. It's really really interesting. Maybe not necessarily better. 
Are we meant to be attacking the henchmen? Looks like something over here too. Okay. 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 And we have another little thing over here. Message from Igor. Um, since there's been some misunderstanding lately about the valuables and a bit of blood's been spilt for no plan reason whatsoever, I'd like to reassure you all the coin is safe and sound in the lockbox. The blind arsehole who thought it was missing was looking in the wrong place. Walk down the corridor leading from the upper level towards the arena. Turn your back so... Turn your backs, turn so your backs to the grating and look to the wall opposite you. If you've eyes to see, you'll find what you're looking for. Let me emphasize that Horson Jr.'s crowns have not been touched, not a single copper's missing. I swear on my own hand, ha I swear on my own handsome head that they're secure and waiting to be picked up. I go. So that was, I think, what we found before, right? Uh, downstairs. Okay, he's dead. I was gonna say we can't seem to attack him. Right. Okay. So I think that's everything in here. Um, there's just a few things I guess we can pick up off the bodies. But even then, it's not really useful stuff. Is it worth going around looting all these bodies? I guess we're already started. Um, didn't mean to get that. Meant to get that. Okay. Got some leather. I don't think there's much to loot up here. There could be. So that's where we were fighting, and this is where people were watching. That's quite cool. Oh, there's a chair over here. I guess that's where Junior was sitting. Right, okay. Well, I had fun in the arena overall. I've probably failed the Cleaver quest. Um. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, yep, the only thing we did was talk to Cleaver. What We, we actually apparently did something there. Defeat Horse and Junior's arena or something. What did it say? Did it just say... Sorry, I missed that completely. I was sort of only slightly reading. Destroy Horse and Junior's Arena. Well, we did one of the things. Uh, we'll probably have failed the quest because we missed some of the objective. It's possibly? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Right. Anyway. I guess we'll go and... We'll go and return to Cleaver. Just to see what's happening with that. I think we've done all of this. We still need to go to Horse and Junior's house. But other than his house, I'm pretty sure that's everything there. So we're going... Actually, where's his house? Where's his house? How close is his house? Tell you what, we'll go... We'll go We'll go and do this first. We'll go and do this first. Just because I feel like it's good to get it done. Where is it? There you go. Um, how far away is it? 200 meters. We'll walk there. It won't take long. Okay, we're almost back with Cleaver. Um, let's go and see what he thinks. So hopefully we haven't failed the quest. Oh, uh, we probably have, though. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hello. What do you want? Okay, well, why not? What can you tell me about Junior? Aiming to write his biography. Put his dad in it. Whore son, son of whore son. Great title. I'm all ears. Whore son senior was the most ruthless man I've ever met. Unmatched to blackmail, murder, and hustling. Word is, he had a line on the hierarchy himself. Junior inherited all his gaffer's traits except one. His love of poetry. Senior was on his way to an evening recital when Junior killed him. Then he promptly took over all his dear daddy's businesses and contacts. Right. Decided to tend to Horse and Junior myself. I, I heard. Fucking martyr. Facing the world all by his lonesome. Your bloody choice. It's not what we agreed though. So you'll not see a copper out of me. Wasn't expecting anything. Oof. Oh, we didn't fail the quest. Okay, we didn't fail the quest. I was so... Oh, I was so... Oh, we got two silver all though. Huh? We'll take your silver. How does that feel, Carlo? I think you get like a few hundred if you do it, but not nearly as much as I think you make off the Gwent. Or I think you make just as much off the Gwen as you would get from Cleaver, so... You know what, we got to play Gwent too, and we got to experience way more story than just going around killing people. And we didn't fail the quest, we managed to do 
both. We managed to get the best of both. So we did technically apparently fail play cards with casino guests, but that's literally because we just won twice. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying, to be completely honest. You don't get any special cards or anything with that one. Um, so... I guess we'll go and find Horse and Junior's hideout now. Then we'll go and I think I, what I want to do is play Gwent with the Scoia'tael guy that was mentioned before. I'll set the time today um, just because I'd like to do that. And then I think we'll stop for today and do the rest next time. Like, you know, finish off, get Junior and the um, uh, the Triss thing as well. We'll meet Triss because I don't have time to do all that today. I'll just do some of the shorter stuff like look at Junior's house and things. So, you know, I think it's pretty cool. I feel like we've done a lot as well and we've still got a little bit more to do. I've had a really cool time. I like that we haven't failed the quest because you can kind of mix them a bit and not fail them and still get XP and, you know, still technically not have failed a quest. So I think that's pretty cool. I, I didn't realize, I wasn't sure then if it would cause me to fail or not because I was so sure it would. I was so sure it would, to be honest. Because, I don't know, I thought maybe I'd have to have done at least one of the things with the dwarves, but apparently not. I just have to have talked to Cleaver at some point. So for those of you that don't want to fail that quest, but want to do everything in the Get Junior quest, you know, like Play Gwent and things, then I guess that's one way of doing it. Um, <laughs> annoyingly, you can't Gwent everyone if you um, win every game. <laughs> right. Kind of annoying. Oh well. So we've got to go... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Cleaver's dudes. Jesus Christ. God. Nothing interesting here. Oh, that was useful. Oh, looks like that it's a, it's a debated topic among dwarves. Steel plates. Um, and we got some more crystallized essence. T -t 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 -t. I think that's everything, right? What is this? A sack that's like clipped through and we can't apparently access. Oh well, right. Let's have a look upstairs all around here. There's a, there's a guy behind this bookshelf. They really bloody did a number on this. Oh, there's a guy there. Okay. I mean, they're, they're so like calm and they've just murdered. I guess Geralt does it as well sometimes. Um, right, some clothes. Can I Wars with thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Right. Um, there's a bookshelf. Another dead guy. Just checking if anything's hidden, you never know. Right, something over here. Nothing interesting here. This has been scrubbed clean. Ah, so it was cleaned. Geralt, really? We're not going to check upstairs? Are you just satisfied with that? Um, some sheepskin, some alchemy paste, loads of stuff. Um, God, we're getting so much stuff. Oh, come on. I know we can loot that. I just saw. Right, we got some wire. Um, just checking that we get everything, you know? I don't want to miss anything. And also, I, I can't believe there's nothing to examine upstairs. That's kind of weird. I never even thought about that before. Okay, we got a chest with nothing in. I mean, imagine these guys would have taken Mine's most like of the valuable more. stuff. For, for some reason, they left the amethyst dust and silver, but we'll ignore that. Okay, so... Right, we finished, basically we finished Get Junior, we just have to talk to Dijkstra, but what I think we'll do next time is, um, we'll go to, um, nice cheers, we'll go to, we'll do the Triss thing, because I think we have to see Dijkstra at some point after that anyway, or we do see him just as chance has it, so we got that, that, um, what I want to do now is that, and then I also want to do that, wait, no, that. No, not that. The other one. You know what I mean. The one we have to do uh, have a Gwent game with the Scoia'tael guy. Can we get down here conveniently? I don't think so. Jesus. Um, would it be quicker just to? It'd be quicker to walk to that signpost. We should probably. Oh, we ranked up. I just realised. Get out the way. Okay. We uh we've leveled up now, so we now have another skill point. Don't really know what to use that on. I've used quite a lot on Axie, just uh, the delusion thing, so I can actually use it, <laughs> or I wouldn't have been able to play Gwent at all. 
I guess it does cost a lot to be able to play Gwen with those people, and then you probably make more money just by doing Cleaver's thing anyway. But, oh well. Because you get 200, right? But you have to have betted 100 too. And also win the Gwent games. But you know what? I like playing Gwent. And I think I might have got Gwent cards out of it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we'll go here. Okay, let's go and talk to the King of Beggars about our reward for freeing Rico. Rico Mies Miesdorf. Or My Miesdorf. I think it's Miesdorf. Um, we have to work out how to get into this place, though. Just another question. For some reason, it's now disappeared off the map. No idea what's going on that. Uh, I think it's just around here somewhere, right? It's near that merchant. Oh, God. What? Knock, knock. Right, let's go and get our reward from the King of Beggars. Should be in here somewhere. I think he's back here. God, I'm doing this all from memory now because for some reason it's disappeared. King of Beggars henchman. Ah, there we go. Hi. Uh, that first. Work with mages often. My, aren't you curious? You yourself looking for work, perhaps? No, I just know them. Usually not all that willing to get their hands dirty. Don't know them well then. A hounded, hungry mage is desperate as any man. Not about to be fussy when taking on work. Novigrad's a city of opportunities. Chances to be seized. You should grab one too. Um, saved one of your men. Should pick your men more carefully. Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said. Take it. Oh, thank you. Right, so what do we get? Like a... Oh, we got a sword, Elul Thrad, and a warrior's armor, Freya's warrior's armor. Cool. They're probably better than my current armor because this armor is not particularly uh, leveled to me anymore. Like, what level is my armor? Like, level 9 or something? Level 11. So, yeah, this armor is... Oh, it's worse. Okay. <laughs> the sword's probably better. Nope, sword's worse. Well, oh, this sword's better, though. No, it's not. Okay, all our stuff is still better, apparently. Awesome. Right, well, we'll go and do the uh, the Gwent thing anyway. T -t 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 Gwent old pals. Uh, where is it? Did I go past it again? That's the one. So we got to do Gwent big city players. We may as well start heading this way anyway, because we have to get to a signpost. Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. We could go and do that. Which is sort of a quest that apparently we can just do. What is this quest? Is it the racism one? Or one of them? I don't know. Who's this guy? Hello? Oh, it's this guy! You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time! I've practiced with shield and sword! Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight. I don't want to fight you. Yeah, we'll say that. Don't have time to give you another lesson. Tis I shall give thee the lesson. Okay. I really don't want to behead him again. Okay, sorry. I don't. Okay, thank you. Had enough. Yes, but next time. Next time I'll kill you. I'll tell him that. Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. I'm just trying to get him to sort of, because I, I know I think eventually you might end up having to kill him. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Where's closest for sign board, boards and stuff? There's one here. Okay. Oh, that, well, that was... that was. Uh, I, I feel bad about saying that, but I didn't want to just tell him to go away again. To be fair, think about the situation. He's just randomly fighting me for no reason. <laughs> because I beat him once. Because he challenged me for no reason. <laughs> to, like, prove someone's honor back in Velen. Okay. 
So, the score tells here. We'll go to the loggers hut. And we'll, um, we'll went this guy, then end today, I think. Okay. Win a unique card from a member of the Scortail Band. Will do. Well, I'll try, at least. Ah, oh, it's lo lovely music. Almost there. Oh, I love the Scortail. Little, little woodland thing. So he's here. What a here. It's you. I'll never forget you. I must thank you once more. Guy from Broccolon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm just gonna see if he has any. Being my beard's growing back. You see my beard? It's starting to come through in the game. Um, not in real life, sadly. I think this sword is better than my current sword. Yeah, it is. Thank God I was right about that one. Okay. You know me. Where from? We met long ago in Broccolon. Possible, but can't say I remember. No surprise, you were badly wounded then. If not for the Dryad's care, it's unlikely you would have survived. Long time ago. So long it feels like it happened in another life. Maybe that's not so far from the truth. Would have been after the Thanid coup and Triss took him there. Oh, right, let's, let's play Gwent. You play Gwent? But do you really have no one else to play with? Always nice to play someone new. Fine. Beggars can't be choosers, after all. I'll play you, and even stake one of my unique cards. Oh. Pull out your cards. It's very forward, Geralt. Right. Let's go. We'll try out the other decks when we get better cards for them. Um, a bit more. <laughs> like, we'll try them out a bit more, because we have tried them out a bit, you know. It's always good, because you never know if you're going to get more spies. It's always good. Um, we'll match him. Oh. Uh. Do this. Should we just give him all our spies? Skip. Oh, I see what I see what he's doing. Um. Uh, I tell you what, we'll do this, then we'll put down Roach. Okay. All right, put down terrible cards first. He'll probably have some sort of Scorch, right? Okay. This feels like it could be another high-scoring round. Does this guy really not have a single spy? Does... Uh, do, um... The Scorchetail cards in this game just not really use spies? Because that feels like a massive disadvantage. Do this. We're gonna- I wanna see how high we can get this. We, we can probably get a really- oh. It's fine, we can revive it. Um. Okay. Let's see how high we can get this. Because we can do this, like we can do boom. 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 It's just nice to see, I just wanna see what happens, to be honest. Then we can double those, and then we can also double the back row. Woof. Damn it all, I'd so hoped for victory. Alas, so be it. You've won the card fair and square. What card do we get? Just waiting. Oh, we got Siri. Oh, yeah, this guy gives us Siri. I guess he uses it. Siri is such an unbelievably good card. Level 15. So or just attack 15, even. That's really, really, really good. I tell you, like, the thing about Gwent in this game is that pretty much every card, you know, like, there are just better cards in the game. Like, it's not like a question of which ones might be better with different strategies. There are just better cards. Look at my beard. Uh, Geralt's beard, even. It's really, really starting to come through now. 
Anyway guys, I'm going to end today's Witcher part there. If you want to see this Witcher 3 series continue and you enjoy these parts, just want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate you liking it. This guy's having some issues, so let's just sort him out. You okay, buddy? Right, whatever. Well, whoops, I knocked over their chair. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I, everything's going... Everything's de dead now, guys. We've ruined it. Also, thank you to anyone that subscribes. We just carry on after that little incident. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. We saved his life. It's fine. Uh, but hey. we'll just go with that. Hey. Right, anyway, I don't even know what's going on. This outro's just turned to nothing. Thank you to anyone that joins the Reddit, follows me on Twitter, any of that sort of thing. And also, as always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing. And I'll let the rest of the video play out with your what? names. What? You're also amazing. The score tell, guys. They're interrupting me so bad. <laughs> right, I'll see you all later. Thank you all for watching today. Have an awesome rest of the week, and I'll see you in the next video. I still don't know why we tolerate your presence.